Simon, it's nine wins in a row, but was that uh, tougher than you envisaged pre-match? Oh, look, we expected a tough game. Newcastle are a big physical team. Um, they had a bit of disruption to the team in Josh Woods dropping out. Then obviously they lost Sharks later on in the game, but we've had a bit of disruption as well um, between the on-field stuff with obviously uh, Woody getting injured early and means we had a shuffle. And we had a bit of, bit of drama through the week as well. So, yeah, we're happy to come out the other side of it. Uh, you know, I think probably a bit of a nail-biter for some, but I, maybe it's because we've been winning a bit ugly, but I always felt we were going to win. I thought we dominated the game really, uh, letting a couple of sloppy tries. One of them in a, in a period where we had 12 men. Uh, yeah, I felt we were really good. We moved the ball really well, which is something we spoke about all week. Um, we just didn't. I thought we did all the damage in the first half, and it was there to, you know, really sort of put the foot down on the throat, so to speak. Second half, but yeah, we didn't. I don't remember a good ball set second half. You know, I'll have to have a look at it and find out exactly why. But yeah, maybe a bit of indiscipline kept us kept our opportunities limited. But yeah, on the whole, happy with them all. I thought it was a, a good, tough win, and you know, it wasn't sort of convincing on the. Scoreboard, as well, I suppose, but yeah, I thought we dominated. And you mentioned we went through a fair bit of adversity pre-match and during the match that allowed Ben Tibbs to come on the bench for his debut. What do you make of his performance today? I thought Tibbs were great. He's been um, well. He's one of the, those kids in that tough scenario where he left, he fell out of the Super League environment for you know a couple of reasons, the reserves going and so on. But he also, yeah, he's hardly played. Uh, it's been really difficult because he is a young kid. There's not a great deal of footage he's been playing. For the Giants, people want instant success. Though, so if they want to, they want to get a lone e player, and they're not overly keen when you tell them a the name, they don't know. So it's been really, really difficult for him. He's been really patient. His term of training, he's been great to be quite honest, and all lads are really happy for him. I thought he acquitted himself well. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things to tidy up. Don't get me wrong, and some stuff he'll get used to through playing men's rugby, but certainly given us the confidence to put him in again. And uh, after all that early dominance and all the possession we seem to have in the first half to go in and only 12 points up at half time, was that disappointing? Uh, we need to sort out the goal kicking. Um, not to say they were easy kicks by any means, but you know, we, we need to be getting all that. Cause, you know, we're getting to that time of year now where that could well get us at some point. Um, our regular kicker, Con, obviously not playing, doesn't help, but there's plenty of blokes in there who are capable. To get out and practice a little bit more. Uh, yeah, 12 points at half time. To be honest, I thought, I thought there were a few more in it. Um, but yeah, to come in there reasonably happy. I, I did feel that the, the damage was done there. I thought the second half we could really open, open the floodgates, so to speak, and you know, push on a few more. But again, I have to go back and watch it because I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, in, in, in discipline probably didn't help us. Um, yeah, weeks. I thought we kicked really well. I thought we kicked really well today. So we had some field position, but yeah, we just didn't quite get it. But Again, I, I still, still felt quite comfortable when I get the points. You mentioned discipline. Um, there seemed to gain quite a bit of ascendancy when Adam Tangata went off uh, in the sim bin. What was your view of the incident? It was poor. Uh, look, every team does the same. We all want to put pressure on the ball player from the inside. I think the game's tightened up a lot on it uh, to where you've got to be very careful. It's a fine line. I think Adam, he just crosses it and the fact he, he gets that whiplash effect where his head goes up. I think that's kind of a red rag to a bull, so to speak. Um, so he was always going to go. Pretty disappointed a bit, but I said I think his mates managed it pretty well. And then when he came on, I thought he did a good shift to sort of pace from that back. And, forth. and then obviously um, it's not looking likely that we'll be going and playing to lose next week. So it's a chance for a week off, recuperate, get some bodies back. What's your plans for your? Uh... Yeah, as far as I'm aware, we're not playing. I'm not sure why it's not been confirmed publicly yet. Um, yeah, it kind of falls at the right time for us, Rick, to a degree. Um, obviously, Woody picked up an op today, we'll see how long that goes. We've got a few blokes carrying him. Matt Garside didn't play today, he's carrying. So, yeah, we'll, we'd like to be playing, of course. We'd like to play in Toulouse if the competition was you know, full and proper, but unfortunately, that's just how it is. So, we'll, uh, we'll take the positives from it and enjoy a bit of a down week and, you know, as I say, give some lads some opportunities to look after the bodies and then, you know, we get, we get geared up for another. So our section of the season really.